G'day everybody, Steve from Mud Ducks 4 Wheel Drive Touring. It's Australia Day, hence the uh, shirt. Anyway, I hope everybody's well. We're going away for the weekend, up to an area north of Gloucester, west of Warhope in that area. There's a whole bunch of national parks and rivers and things in there. I call it the Sills River region. It may not all be the Sills River, but it's that kind of area. Anyway, we've got four of us in total. You'll get to see those guys down the track. Andrew's the trip leader in the 100 series. Pat's in an 80 series. Brent, you'll remember from a few other trips, uh, he's in his mighty Pajero. And uh, we're last, but not least, in the 200. Uh, apparently, they decided to put the uh, the toughest, most hardcore vehicle at the back. So that's probably fair enough. But uh, anyway, we're uh, on the road. We're on the Bucket's Way now. Heading up to uh, Gloucester and to uh, really start the trip. So uh, come along with us and uh, we will show you whatever we can show you. Cheers. Hello, north of Gloucester, not far out of town, on to probably where the adventures really start. It's still tar, but uh, we're on the road now, so I think we hit dirt in 10 or 15 k's or something. Might be earlier, can't remember. Anyway, that's our intrepid group in front of us. So, um, yeah, we're, uh, we're keen. Hopefully there'll be a bit of lower range stuff to do. Uh, should be good. We've uh, those who needed fuel, fueled in Gloucester. Last bit of the stock. And different scenery, we're surrounded by hills this time. And then the, the other drive coming up here. As Steve says, this is where it begins. Just after you come around that ridge, that bend there, the top of the hill. It's kind of funny when you think of it. We were talking before we did this the other week, and we've never been into this area. We get out here twice in a month. Yeah, it tends to happen that way. We've probably come back here for 10 years now. <laughs> I reckon by the end of this weekend, Brett will try to not come anywhere with us again. Yes, Steve, for four-wheel drive adventures, other people use these lazy seat chairs too. Why kneel when you can sit?
pipe and everything. You got enough room there? You got room? Yeah. Not too close, yeah. No, we're near as warm as what was then. Lost the rain. It's awesome. Got free run. They're down over there. Yeah, they're falling over there. Video bomb. <laughs> I'm still waiting for that. <laughs> so there we got toilets down there. So is this this is Dingo Flats, is it? Dingo tops. Dingo tops. Look at that. <laughs> nice little spot in the middle of nowhere. You can camp here. Yeah. People do. We did last time we were here. As in just over here. <laughs> yeah. I can show you where we camp. I can see they're camping over there. With camper trailers, it's a little bit bollarded, so what he read them. Laura right, Dingo Tops. Like we were recently, people setting up camp. We're not camping here. We're um, heading on. Zary Trepid group today. 200, which is actually the last truck in the group crew, but had to park in the first truck. Brett, as usual. Kaz. Hello. Andrew, Hello. as usual. Pat and Jackie. And our assorted vehicles. That's the Mighty 100 we've seen before. The even mightier 80, which was sold by some dodgy bloke, but the guy who's bought it has uh, fixed it right up. So it's all good. And uh, yes, you've seen it before. And unfortunately, you'll see it again. The Page. Some machinery here. We've seen this in another video, so I won't spend too much time recording it. But uh, anyway, here we are. This is... Uh, Digo Tops and we're heading off to the right there towards the Oxley Highway we won't be heading to the Oxley Highway but we're heading that direction and it's a very very quick look at the area here because hopefully by the time you watch this one you'll have seen my previous trip to here and I'll have more information in that one So, all the boards as I've mentioned before. That's probably too close, sorry guys. And they've got some barbecues, which I'm guessing a gas. So, reasonable facilities. All right, we will continue on in a merry way. So, we shall see you guys a little bit later on again. Just left Dingo Tops. And this is why there's not much footage of the cars one after the other, because it's too dusty. So in about 10 seconds, I'll be backing off, because I don't want to sit in this much dust. Right, so we've just pulled out of uh, 
What was it? Dingo. Just pulled out of Dingo Tops. And uh, we've all swung around and backed in. And we're heading up to the lookout. So, ready for a big trek. It's a good climb up here, but um, it's worth it. We'll see how we go. <laughs> On the climb up to, pretty sure it's Rowley's Rock Lookout. Some of us are not climbing up here today. Some of us are. Some that have never been here think it's going to be easy. Guarantee you, they won't think that when they get there. Are we there yet? Pat's the youngest and fittest in the crew, so Pat's going to run up there. But the rest of us, no chance. Okay, we'll see at the top. As you can see, the walk up is pretty steep. We've now hit the stairs, which is actually <laughs> no trouble. leading the charge. Naturally occurring concrete steps. Thank God. Well, we've walked it again. Here's the other old guy, <laughs> Brett, coming up. Kaz and Andrew probably sensibly have elected to stay down at the cast this time. They came up last time. But here we are. I'll give you a look again. I showed you this once before, but you're going to have a look at it today. Here's Pat showing off his muscles. How tough is he, eh? If I had a body like that, I'd take my shirt off too. But I don't. And I don't want Jackie to throw up, so I won't take my shirt off. Breathe. It's an awesome view, isn't it? It's quite a way down there. Almost worth the walk. Oh, it's worth the walk. Now, people, what do you think of a bloke who brings his drone up, gets three calls away up here, and goes, Oh, crap. I've left the phone that controls the drone in the car. So I shall not be flying my drone up here, even though I wanted to, because I can't control it. What a bloody genius I'm not. Anyway, never mind. The only way to be sillier is to be up here in the first place on a 35 degree day. So I definitely wouldn't be coming up here if you're a bit older or um, not real stable on the feet. Don't do it if you've got a heart condition. Definitely not. Even in the dry, this is still pretty slippery. I can't imagine it'd be any worse in the wet. I am a bit older. I came up here. <laughs> older than you, Stephen. It's the first time you ever acknowledge these people older than me in the world, Brett. Is that a moment of softness? Definitely not. Because these stairs here. I'm almost pointing that camera directly down, so pretty steep. It's more like a ladder than stairs, these ones, Stephen. Quite a bit, aren't they? Yeah, probably. Especially one end. Yeah, they're probably the worst of it. This is the things we do to bring these ruddy views to the public. The effort we go to, Brett. Well, it was nearly my last video, Stephen. <laughs> have a coronary going up the bloody hill. I'm actually glad you didn't have one, because there's nobody who's going to Blue Knob Lookout Picnic Area. 1.5 k's, as the sign says. So we'll go and check that out. Road doesn't look too exciting. So we'll see what we see. This is us at uh, Blue Knob Lookout. And you've got a little campsite down there. It's been an absolute ripper. Providing the wind didn't come too, too strong. Yeah. 
as you can see, she's a little bit hazy today. Can't see that far. Disappointing with her. But well worth the drive. One and a half k's up off the track. Off Notting Bull Road. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Because it took me 10 minutes to find bloody the train because I couldn't work it where I put it. So you know more climbing, Dallas. The truck did all the work. <laughs> Mongrels lied to me. This is bloody. Look out. They climb up the bar. So what's the lookout called? Blue knob or something? Blue knob. Knob. Knob? Yeah. Knob. Knob, Karen? <laughs> Blue knob look out. Um, about one and a half k's off the road, off uh, Walnut Road. There's a look out here. A little bit of climbing. There we go, we'll get up there. Two hands for beginners. Turned on the Causeway Road now, heading down towards Maxwell's Flat. Did this a few weeks ago, so it shouldn't be too bad. But it's it's more off the main tracks than what we've been driving on, which have been forest roads and uh, you know places where two-wheel drives can go and logging trucks. This is actual off-road stuff. So not stupidly hard, but more about what we're. Uh, what we like to do. So this part's pretty easy but it gets a bit more interesting as we go. So we'll just check it out together. Easier than last time. Yeah, that bog hole's way easier than last time. So, uh, I'm going to get down through this river crossing. I'm going to get out. All right. This is the 
gooey bug hole coming into Maxwell flat. Right, well this is a bit of a bog hole just before Maxwell's flat, not particularly difficult. Looked harder than it was and uh, then we went into a river crossing and across the there. campground where Definitely. we stopped for lunch. So uh, uh, just a quick look at that, nothing special to tell you, it's not that hard but uh, something to have a bit of a screw that. So I uh, hope you're still enjoying it and we'll see you on the other side. stop at Maxwell's flat. And as you can see there's toilets here if you need them. Maxwell's flat. We're here for lunch. An hour late, thanks to our fearless leader, who sure remained nameless, Andrew, missing the turn off. We're pulling up, we're having our lunch, then we'll keep going. So over here in the Pat and Jackie section, what do we have in here, Pato? Sandwiches. Jackie's hiding from the camera, she's a bit camera shy. So what's your fearless leader having for lunch? Oh, wrap with this and that and something else on it. Ah, craps. Yeah, I should probably not even ask Brett what he's having for lunch. Because I'm going to take a stab in the dark and go, bakery bloody pizzas. That'll be my guess, bakery pizzas. What are you having for lunch, Brett? Pizzas. Oh, who would have thunk it? That's incredible. Pepsi and pizza, mate. Lots of kings. Pepsi and pizza. Anyway, that's enough of this dribble for the time being. While Kaz gets out our stuff. We're having ham and cheese bread rolls. So, we shall see you after lunch. Well, of course, after lunch is actually next week. So, we'll hopefully, we'll see you on part two. Hope you've enjoyed this bit. And, uh... Definitely look forward to uh, seeing you next week. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and uh, share it around. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Cheers.